All right, so now we're now we're putting on the valve cover. Your hand? No, I shouldn't. Let's get on. This back. goes to the valve cover. We have to take off the screw right here because this, this hose is in the way of putting in the valve cover. We don't want to scratch it. <clears throat> so we also lubed up the uh, valves too, yep. so we can have an easier start up. And the oil go inside those holes, right? Yeah, but it's going to come out in the bottom because we left the drain plug open. Again, working in this beautiful other... <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, the thing's like corroded on. This is the valve cover right here. It's nice. It's nice. Don't you have like a little uh, hook fish, like a fishing hook would work sometimes? Some lifters. And this color is nice. Might have threw him in. My gosh. Because we don't have the right tools. Focus. Oh, this thing is like not focusing. Alright, go. Alright, so we're putting it on now. Yep, it's on. Kind of. <laughs> there, right there. No, I'm going to split it in the Actually, you know what we should do? Well, yeah. Somebody get me a ratchet. I can't. I'm just putting on a little tie. Tie as much as you can with your hand and that's it. That's good. That way we can line up all the holes forces. Yeah, then we can start to do stuff, dude. That's the last one. Or two more. Hold. Gasket thing here. All right. So and pull it up. Hold that in and hold that in tight. Easy. No, take it off. Take it off. Oh, take it off. Yeah. Yeah. It's the better hold because it looks like this gasket is it wasn't lined up, so we don't want. Well, we have to put on a new gasket too, right? Yeah, that's a brand new gasket. Yeah, better safe than sorry. We should probably put a screw in there and put it under first uh, way, because that one is not. Well, actually, it's lined up too. Let me uh, have a couple of screws so I can just put it on. Actually, this goes on this side. Beautiful. The valve cover looks almost new. The new paint on there. Oh yeah, I see the oil dripping now. Don't need time off too much because it's, we have to like, move it. Okay. Yeah. Here. 
thing does not want to focus. Hmm. They're not focused. Oh, does it go on that clamp? Yeah. Oh. There it is. Alright, keep putting the screws in. Put the cap on, too. Well, the cap's downstairs. Oh. Should I have the ratchet piece? This is why inline sixes are the best. I just dropped the tool. Oh, now I gotta go to the floor and get it. But didn't fall like if you have a modern car, yeah, you're but, gonna lose it. Yep, you can just see right through the floor. What other thing that stinks too is that we got the oil pan right down there. Yeah. How's the baby bottle? It's not there. Oh, did you guys install the baby bottle? Uh, yeah. I'm going to pick up that red pocket. Today? Uh, did you get the ones in the back? I have one in there. There's one here I've been uh, Hard working men at their job. In line six. And there's the carburetor. Actually, Dad, this carburetor might have some luck because on uh if you have no gas in the tank, I think it might be good and then lose this one. It's nice. Oh, I got the head on. Yeah. The head is the block. Think underneath it. That's the head. Yeah. This is the head. This is the head. <laughs> Kind of tap it with a hammer, maybe. Got a flash You see? And when you get to the last one, you come back and just a little tap. Not too tight, because you know you don't want you don't want to damage the the pen. The pen see, is bending the pen now. So that means that's yeah. Of course, I got. Oh yeah, it's actually going into place now. No, I'll go this one. That one. Yeah, these things you gotta keep them okay. in a pattern. No, this one here. We're going this one. Yeah. Alright, so now we're changing the oil on candy. Yeah, it's out. Okay. So now we're fueling up the car. It's dripping a lot. It smells horrible. <laughs> we got to put in this tank because this hose is nice and long. And uh, not just that, it's because this one is too small and the back of the Mustang is bending like this, which makes it more complicated. Put some more oil on. I'm gonna put it in here now. I can hear it. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm recording. 
for sales yet? Not really. There, that's one gallon right there. Probably already put two in it, but. Yeah, there it is. Ugh. So then you let the air out. All right. Are you sure this is gonna work? Working, isn't it? Sure. How do we know if the needle goes up? Well, this car takes around 10 gallons of gas. We only got five, we'll be safe. I think we might have to actually maybe turn the heat. Okay. And the sad thing about this car is the brakes are gone. Hang on. Got a horn. Doesn't work because we have no battery. Sadly, but gasoline gauge hasn't gone up. I guess it's not those cars that just right when you fill it up, it doesn't say anything. And uh, yeah, this is the interior for now. It's kind of junked, but yeah, it's not bad. Could be worse, right? But yeah, and this the gas brakes. They're gone. Did you put cool in it? Okay, so today we got um, Autolite uh, connectors, and we're going to connect the coil and everything now. Yeah, he's, he's actually, what he's doing right now is connecting the cable to the uh, blue connector. And that's going to go to the oil sensor right there. So when we start the car, we'll make sure we got oil pressure. Go. The old one's inside. Oh, it's got the negative terminal on it. What's this guy? Baby bottle. <laughs> yeah, it's a baby bottle. Bada book, bada book. New air filter. Coolio. Oh, that was a piece of junk. Can I throw it? Yeah. I don't know. When you try to get these. Oh my gosh. I love that boil. It says front. I'm guessing.